Right, this is a demo of uh, Zen, which I've ported to the Grant Sill Simple Z8T or the RC2014 basic boards. Uh, this is the extended 8K ROM with the monitor. So we do I for Intel hex load. Uh, now, I've noticed that using the Microsoft uh, Xbox screen grab thing, um, it doesn't show pop up windows. So take, take it from me, what I'm doing here is selecting the hex file to load. Which is pretty quick and then Zen <coughs> is its execute address is the same as its load address so 8400 in this case which suits the uh, 56k like this machine or the 32k either one and we're in Zen with the Z prompt now you you won't see this because it's another pop-up but I'm going to change the serial port to give me um, a four millisecond character delay and uh, let's say 100 milliseconds line delay the reason for that is that you'll see when we go into uh, enter, which is an E command in Zen to enter source code, it gives line numbers that takes time. So uh, if you're hitting it with characters before the line numbers come back, it, it will miss stuff. So at this point, you can type in your source code or um, paste it from a, um, a file. So I'm going to do that. Obviously, I'm running the monitor. Uh, if you're not running the monitor, I don't see a reason not to, but uh, if you change that to a zero, then it'll just jump to the cold or warm uh, prompt when it's finished. Um, <laughs> just for amusement, this is a bit of a puzzle. Uh, you look at this code and you think, what? Um, but it's a bit of a puzzle as to what it does. Um, line five uh, sets your origin. This is where the, um, um, the, the code base for the um, object code is, 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 is set. Load is where it's physically located. Now in a small system where you've not got much memory, um, line 6 there, load a thousand. I've got it the same as the org address because this is a small program. But if it's a bigger program you might want to put it somewhere out of the way um, because you might um, need to um, avoid Zen itself or something like that. So it's a bit like phase in uh, Macro 80. Yeah, you can have uh, the code with a certain origin but physically loaded at a different address. So once we've got the source code in, full stop takes us out of the editor. And the editor is very, very basic. You've got just a few commands. You can go T to go to the top. You can P and a number to uh, print lines. You can go B to go to the bottom. Then you can go up. You can go down. You can go up a number. You can go down. A number top print 23 is about a screen full. Um, one command that's missing is um, a target to target a certain line. So if I wanted to insert a line between, say, for instance, 11 and 12, there, I would have to kind of guess up 12, uh, down one. There we go. So now we're between there. If I do E, it will insert between those lines. Right, so if I full stop to come out of the editor, top 23, and you see there the line we've put in between what was 11 and 12, it's now 11 and 13. So there you go. So right, to assemble A, you've got two options here. You can either go V for video, which gives you like a um, PRN file, a typical uh, assembler uh, format, or you can go C for column format hex. Uh, once it's all assembled, this is a command that I've added. You can do a hex, Intel hex dump. So you can copy and paste that into Notepad, and that's your, your hex file. Um, you can, um, if you want to delete lines, uh, go back to the top, print 23. My three key is playing up actually. Um, so 12, so if I go uh, up 12. Yeah, that was a good guess. <laughs> Up 12 from the, where the current line was, just happened to be line 12. If I want to delete that line, I just go Z for zap. Back up to the top, print 23, and that line is gone. You can zap a number of lines, but be careful because it's the number you give after the Z, after the current line. So if the current line is 10, and you said zap 5, it would zap 10 to 14 
one, two, three, four, five. That's right, it's 10 to 14. So you've got to be a bit careful with that. So it's a very, very basic editor. Once, when you're entering a line, you've just got backspace and that's it. Very, very uh, basic. Um, so we have assembled it. So the object code is now in memory. Uh, it's in the same place as the origin, A1000. So if I quit out of this, go into the monitor, display A1000. And there is the object code. Um, only a couple of lines of it. The rest of it is just garbage left from previous stuff. Uh, but up to A01B, which is towards the end of the second line there. That's all the object code. So there you go. Uh, to go back into Zen, uh, same same address, 8400. And cold start, warm start are the same thing in Zen. So it doesn't clear anything away. Uh, you can come in and out of it and the um, source code remains in place. Assemble it to column format hex. You, know, you, you just keep going. And um, there we go. So that's Zen running on the uh, Grant Sill Simple Z80 or the, um, the very basic RC2 Arm 4s. Um, so this puzzle then, what does this code do? You'll laugh. <laughs> go A-O-O-O. -O -O. Cheers, bye.